All right, so um, there have been calls by from lawmakers and also now the former Vice President Atuku Abubakar to have um, a single year, six year single term rotate and rotational presidency in the country. Now let's have that conversation. We have a lawyer, Evan Sufeli, joining us via Zoom. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So this is not the first time we're seeing different proposals on how government should run in Nigeria. We have seen uh, a call for the return to parliamentary system of government. We've seen a call for unicameral um, assembly. Now is a six-year single term for the presidency. Um, what do you make of that call? Well, this six-year term for the presidency, I mean, this sounds like a retirement talk. Is it going to change the life of Nigerians? Does it matter whether it's four years, uh, two terms, or six years single term? Our positions bother us with a lot of it. I'm not saying um, the suggestion is bad or whether it's good. All the same, I'm saying if that happens, would the life of the average Nigerian team, would we now be able to assess the dividend of democracy on the basis of that? Uh, what problem is that going to solve in the context of the Nigerian democratic engagement? Would the elite stop shortchanging the, the, the protectorate if you now have single term uh, of six years. What democratic advancement would that uh, uh, rot in our system? Is it going to open the floodgates of good governance and shower us the blessings of democracy? Or are we going to have that and still be wobbling with economic misfortune and this this desecration that we see of law and order in our society. I think the leaders of thought in this country should propose, you know, democratic principles that would lift people out of poverty. That is what is important as we speak. Democratic principles that will revive the economy, okay, and give Nigeria the dividend of democracy, allow them to assess what democracy has to deliver. Sovereignty belongs to the people through which government derive our legitimacy. So if we have that, if all things being equal, like he's talking, would, would that give us any, any level of because article has been saying this you know all the time, but what he fails to do is to give details as to what he's talking about. What will be the benefit and what will be the outcome? Mm. I, I, but, but it's some lawmakers called the reformers um, are also you know have been proposing this as well. And they say that you know the reason is to cut um, or one of the benefits is to cut the cost of governance. The cost of governance. In what sense? If you have six years one term, the next, the next uh, election cycle, another governor, another president is going to emerge. Okay, with his own six years one term again. So how is it? How is it cutting cost, cutting the cost of governance down? I don't know how. I, okay, because we have. Uh, a four years single term and uh, double term. Okay. Uh, you know, it, it, does it in any way lead to uh, frivolities? Or is that is that why Nigeria is not catching up with the community of nations? Or is that why our economy is this way? That will not need a six year single term that will now ameliorate it and reduce uh, the cost of governance? It doesn't make sense when you say six year single term would. Uh, 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 reduce the cost of governance. It doesn't. What to reduce the, the cost of governance is to yield to uh, mm -hmm. the scrapping of uh, the two legislative chambers, scrap it to one. Okay, reduce wastages and uh, look into the uh, those ministries that those bogus ministries apply the Orasoya's report, make them into one, scrap others out, reduce you know public uh, uh, revenue where. Well, Public revenue will usually be expended or reduce the, the things, okay, and those elements that got a lot of funds, okay, and channel those funds for public infrastructure. That's what will reduce the cost of government. It has nothing to do with the term of leadership. That is the truth. I don't see any correlation. Maybe I'm not thinking right, but I can't, I can't find any any thought, any any uh, value in what they are saying. In this issue of uh, Mr. Ofeli, I know you've been following politics in this country. You find that you know proposals to or bills at the National Assembly um, hardly, most, you know, would be for national good. Uh, just a few of them. Some of them are, are basic, or most of them, you know, would be for uh, interest. Yeah, always, you know, for interest. Based. 
and do you suspect this this call now and this proposal um, also serves some some kind of interest? Well, uh, looking at the person who is making the proposal, uh, and uh, you want to ask yourself whether is this altruistic or is this saying this to give him uh, a leverage because he's been vying for that position for a while. Okay, is this saying this given his age, vis a vis uh, his um, intention to contest the, the next election? Because he said he's going to contest the next election. Okay, so does he need it so that he can contest just once, become a president once, and stay there for six years? Is that what he's saying? You should say it clearly. It shouldn't be saying that it is good for, it is better to reduce cost of governance. I have not seen any rationale, I have not seen any value in that statement other than that uh, is personal. Maybe when he gets in there, if he is able to get in there, he can now be rest assured that for the next six years, he's going to be the president of Nigeria. Maybe that's what he's saying. But if you say clearly, that's going to uh, lead to the reduction of cost of governance, I'm going to make Nigeria better and the rest of that for me. It's no, it's not, it's a no, no. It, it, there's no sense in it. It's mm. as simple as that. Um, there are a lot of other proposals. One of them has to do with education qualification, uh, being moved from it for the presidency, being moved from primary to, um, to I think, the list to be OND. That was a proposal. But I just wanted to ask you, because, again, we know that we need reforms in a governance system in the country. What, what should be done in terms of, you know, getting a better, a better uh, a gov quality of governance without having to change whatever kind of system they were using without presidential or, or parliamentary? Well, the, the leaders of this country should be responsible to the city. Okay. The truth is that we don't even have an electoral system that can produce the kind of leadership that will deliver this country from the problem is all is facing. We don't have the kind of leadership that can do that because the electoral process is flawed. And because that process is flawed, it throws up just the kind of people that um, will not move this country forward. So first of all, let's look at our electoral system, our electoral reform. Okay, fix it so that uh, take care of issues of vote buying, issues of, uh, you know, uh, maladministration, and then the very peculiar issues that surround the elective process of the country. Then get responsible leadership who can look mm. at the citizens. The citizens can become projects so that a leader is going in there to lead the people. And it shouldn't be limited to just the president. Okay. I mean, the governors, the local government, and the councillor. Reforms must revolve around them. There's stiff penalty for those who are found uh, in corruptive tendency, those who steal and loot public funds. It's not enough to suspend them. The current administration has suspended some people. No prosecution has taken place so far. This, that is not a way to, to, to reform a system. Okay, mm -hmm. they must do something about them. Right. Okay, something drastic and found as deterrent. When we have that, then we can we can move forward. The electoral system, the uh, time of punishment for corruption, we have to do something about it to ensure that we have a clean slate where the benefit will be to add for, for the advancement of democracy in Nigeria. It's not right. the arm of uh, office that will that determine that what, what, what is right or wrong. Thank you so much for your time. I know this is not the last of this uh, particular conversation. It will continue to generate reactions. We've been speaking with lawyer. Evan Zufeli, always a pleasure to have you on. My pleasure. Right, you've been watching Standpoint. Remember, you can watch um, a repeat broadcast tonight at 11 p.m. and Sunday morning at 5 a.m. Thank you so much for watching. I am Precious Amayu.